previously. That is very sad. Oh my fuck. And so we go. A box filled with all sorts of stuff. Really, just all the imaginable, useful things I need right now to solve this mystery packed inside a single cardboard box and left in the middle of the hallway. It's just clothes, doll. I know. A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. We should get back to Millie. Be careful, you two. Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. Come on. Millie, we found this piece of red cloth in Flint's room. We thought you could tell us something more about it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't recognize this particular fabric. But by the feel of it, it feels like a firefighter's uniform. I'm sorry, but that's as much as I can tell. A firefighter's uniform? This is getting stranger by the minute. What do you make of this doll? I honestly don't know, Ted. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. You use them to move up? Fascinating stuff. Look out for anything out of place, doll. Be careful, you two. I'm sorry, but... Come on. I can't use that. Are you even... Are you even trying? Come on. Do what with it? That's just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. <laughs> Rest. I can see the tree outside our house. It's a willow tree. I know this because two years ago at the hospital, my mom told the doctor I fell from a willow tree. It was that one.
a book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess develop. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. We'll have to find another way. Are you even trying? I don't think so. I can't use that. Are you even trying? Come on. Do what with it? No. 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 Do what with it? Wait, it's locked, but why? I use this chest as a reading bench sometimes. Unlike most women, I just like to sit near the window on a cold autumn day under a warm blanket with a good book. It's just this weird quirk I have. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. I can't use that. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. I don't think so. Are you even trying? Are you even trying? I don't think so. Do what with it? I can't use that. Do what with it?
It's a broken clock. Totally useless without the small hand. Come on. It says Gaga on it, or is it Goo Goo? Are you even trying? Come on. I don't think so. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Come on. locked. I can't use that. I don't think so. Are you even... Do what with it? Do what with? Do what? This chair, well, ta huh? you didn't. We'll have to find another way. A book type, well, that. I can't use that. Come on. A book titled in well that locked. There's some chain thingies inside. I can't use that. That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super useful, like, really soon.
this won't hold there now i can have higher aspirations I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous, I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint, but so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement, but then the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing, but the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot, fade to black, we had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. He gave Millie quite a scare. Who knows what would have happened if we had gotten there just a little late. It was getting more obvious now. He's the one responsible for Flint's disappearance. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. The best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something.
Good evening, officer. Oh, my God, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, we need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Well... So, so sorry. That's okay. So sorry. Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? Um, no. It is! It just fell on the floor. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiancé even makes fun of me sometimes. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. But you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! Stevie, you know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh... I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! Uh, don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, that's so cute. Thank you, Bryant. Oh, no. Now, now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is Red after? It's Brian, sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position... To discuss such matters, yeah. Yeah, I know. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. Never mind that now. Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, <laughs> seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. And normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know, but that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Batcave. Office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass on several occasions. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear. I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Can I take a message? No. I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. Bear. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. He's not in, 
and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp. And we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. Fine. I'll get those two goons to do it. The mugshots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. Do what with it? Be careful, you two. locked it's locked a bucket that's a funny word bucket bucket just some random attic stuff you'd usually find in an attic there we have an old bean can is it empty full who knows the mystery is part of the fun then there's some bag of something flour maybe a bunch of boxes filled with ugly clothes? It's filled with the kind of stuff no one ever uses, but is too important for some reason to be thrown away. Hey! The key fits. Let's see what we have in here. I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. The convertible of desks. Very chic. Poor thing, I bet he feels so alone up here. It's filled with towels, I think, or sheets or something. Lex iniusta non est lex? Bunny made up words, although they have a certain righteous ring to them.
I need your help, lowlifes. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, we can do this. But again, what's in it for us? Can't you do it for the kids? Think of the children, for God's sake. What kids? You know, just some kids. I don't know. It's an expression. Would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss. But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh, yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight, or you finally lost your mind, because I can't see you. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snoop. You bring me proof that little Miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance? What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. Sure thing, Arnold. You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. There. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? The Muffin Man gave them to me. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Amber gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. You mean the clearance. What? Yeah, sure, the clearance. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So, how about you hit the old dusty trail? There. All sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind of language. Oh, no, Ted. Why are you always so mean to them? What? No. It's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it sorted. Let's head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Are you even trying? Come on. I can't use that. I don't think so. There, now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Messy. Hopefully I won't get it all over my pockets. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim. Uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's like totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron.
Have a nice night.